Ooh, you know what I could go for right now? A scary ghost story. Well, we, we know, know one. It's the story of America's most haunted house. It's the Whaley House in San Diego, California. Mm. Once upon a time, Thomas Whaley began construction on his new home in what is now Old Town San Diego. Construction began on May 6, 1856. The home was built on the property where hangings of criminals took place. One in particular hanging was James Yankee Jam Robinson, and shortly after the Whaley's moved into their home, Mr. Whaley told the San Diego Union that they heard heavy footsteps in the house, which they believed to be the ghost of Yankee Jim. But this was just the beginning of the horrors that would follow the Whaley family in this home. Shortly after the birth of Whaley's son, Thomas Jr., the poor child contacted scarlet fever and died just 18 months after their birth. Not soon after that, a fire then broke out and destroyed a part of the house that Thomas had just transformed into a general store. He was so dismayed over the significant losses, the Whaley's decided it was time for a change and moved to San Francisco. Ten years later, with his affairs in order, he moved back to San Diego. It was like the house called him back. At this time, he attempted to repair the damages from the fire that had happened so many years prior. Completion of the house was finally finished by the end of 1868, but sadly, any happiness that was to be found had proved to be short-lived because in 1885, one of their six children Violet, at the young age of just 22, shot herself in the chest with a 32 caliber gun and killed herself because of a failed marriage that she had had to a con artist, which lasted only two weeks. Because of her suicide and the shame that left on their family, another daughter, Corrine, was engaged to be married at the time of Violet's death but her fiancé broke off the marriage due to scandal that the suicide caused the family. After these tragic events, Mrs. Whaley thought the house was cursed, and Thomas Whaley built a new home not far from the Whaley house, leaving their home vacant for nearly two decades. But once again, the house called him back upon his return to the home. Thomas Whaley would meet his fate dying in the home in 1888. In the years that followed, the Whaley house fell into despair. It was at this time many people of the area would see things lit up at night and noises coming from the home, even though it was vacant. In 1909, Thomas Whaley's son, Francis, took on the massive undertaking of restoring the Whaley home. Francis took this opportunity to turn the restoration. Rather than live there, he turned it into a tourist attraction, promoting its history while entertaining guests with his guitar. However, the family still stayed living there. The remaining surviving family includes Anna Whaley, Thomas's widow, as well as Corrine, Lillian, Francis, and George live there until their deaths. Tingling tales were reported by not only the Whaley family, but visitors to the home during this period, that they could hear baby cries down the hall, giggling of children, tiny patters of a baby's footsteps, and a woman laughing as well as a woman crying. The ghost of a young woman has reported on numerous occasions to inhabit the second floor of the house. The ghost is reported on being Violet Whaley, still saddened over her broken heart. Cold spots can be filled in the home and stairwells. It is also said that the scent of a French perfume that Anna often wore lingers in the hallways. Physical things like the chandelier would swing back and forth when no wind was even present, and lights will turn on and off with no explanation. It seems that the Whaley's will forever haunt this home.
And that's a true story? 100% true wow. story. And you can go see it for yourself since they offer tours. Did you hear that? Let's get out of here.